Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is the 2nd of January 2023, and once again, it's Warhammer 40k time. Joy Toy Warhammer 40k 118 scale action figures. You can see it's Grey Knights, and this time it's an Interceptor squad. We have Interceptor with Storm Bolter and Nemesis Force Weapon, Interceptor with Incinerator, and an Interceptor Justicar. So let's have a look at the boxes. So here's one of the Storm Bolt and Force Weapon. Looks very, very nice. We just saw this turn. It's still the Justy Car on the uh, Strike Squad, I think. It does look very cool. Any idea or someone can tell me what these protrude protrusions are coming out of their backpack? Not familiar with 40k law, I'm afraid to say. Okay, with the incinerator, looks very cool. That's a spec handle again. Very, very nice looking. And then the dusty car with a great big energy hammer, it looks like. And I suspect he won't have a helmeted idea. Quite nice that the unhelmeted one has to be said. It looks pretty cool there. That's a great pose at the top. Okay, I'm going to unbox and set them up. I'll be back in an instant. Stay tuned. And here they are set up. These look fantastic. They look really, really good, especially when you spend like a minute on each just posing them. If I was to spend about five minutes on each, I'd get even better poses. They look even better than this. They do look great. So, accessories. Before we get to those, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of the screen now. It is free for seven days. You're going to see all the content before it's uploaded onto YouTube. Before it's published on YouTube. There's exclusive content from time to time. And we do have prize draws for that. They are for our paid subscribers, our paid members. And it's a prize draw this month, this January 2024. So it is worth checking out. If not for the content, then for the prize draw. For the Asura Figures, I'll put a link in the top right if you want to see that review there. So, accessories, they all come with the clear plastic base we're very familiar with now. And they all come with uh, two more pairs of hands. So they all come with standard, a right trigger and left gripping. They come the opposite. They come with a left trigger and a right gripping. I've swapped his hand already. And they all come with the almost obligatory double fists. Very, very nice. Let's get a close look. I'll start with the uh, Justy Cart first, who looks fantastic, I think. Here he is here. Very, very cool looking. That hammer is very nice indeed. Nice looking figure. The backpacks are nice. Got a little, bit of a blue hue on the top with the paint, so that's pretty cool too. Just nice all round looking figures. So he's got on there unho what, unholy, maybe? Which seems a bit strange. Uh except there. Very nice looking figure indeed. And we come to our, our one of the force weapon, our interceptor with a storm bolt and force weapon. Again, very nice looking. Very, very cool indeed. Doom on his leg and fate. Your fate is doom. Very cool. Then the last one with the uh, incinerator. That just looks great. Warrior! Glory. Very nice looking figure. Again, I do like the look of this. I like that little book thing. Unfortunately, we know that when I come to articulation in a second, that the shoulder is going to suffer, but it's enough to hold their weapons nicely, as you can see. So, articulation, I will zoom out a little bit. I would use the Justicar, since the rest will be very similar to his. 
Let's take out this hammer from his hand. So articulation, his head, we have a nice left and right. We have a pretty good side to side and a nice forwards backwards. Shoulders are small ratchets, they go round. Lateral raise, not very far, or pop out a joint. We do have a shoulder roll, which is fantastic for doing two-handed stuff with the guns or with the swords or hammer. Uh, bicep bend, get the right angle, he'll get well over 90 degrees, which is great. There is a bicep swivel from the top of the bicep and hand moves in all directions. Same on the other side, except for this hand is a bit difficult to turn because you've got that gun there. Trunk, forwards, backwards, because a bit of a gap on that backwards you can see there. If I put the light on, you can have a look inside, you see. Uh, it's got very good side to side, it can turn as well. The, from the waist, there's a small backwards, there's a side to side and there's a turn, so together. Forwards are not a lot because the sculpting on the chest gets in the way. Backwards is really quite good and side to side is amazing on these guys. Then they turn very nicely. Legs outwards. I was expecting better. I'd like to just shave them two, two millimeters off that leg armor on the hips there. They get a far better range of motion, but still it's pretty good. Forwards is pretty good for the bulk. It goes out a little bit. Backwards is great without going backwards. It goes without going outwards, sorry, it goes that far, which is really quite nice. Fine twist, double kneecap. But kneecaps are a bit ugly underneath. We can see that's not, not the most nice looking kneecap. I've seen more ugly than that, but still was okay, I guess. And then the foot is on the ball, so we know it can turn, it can swivel. We have a tippy toe, we have dorsi flexation, but it's quite small, and we have toe articulation, so decent. Now these are scaled, or these are size-wise rather, it's quoted as being 12 cm, which is going to be accurate judging by how they looked compared to the uh, strike team. So it's got an idea of the size. He's about 12 to the top. Bear in mind, this guy's legs are apart. Again, about 12 and about 12. So very, very accurate on the size there. Let me just quickly put his hammer back in. Give me a second. Okay, hammer's back in. Yeah, look, he now looks like the classic scathing screaming bell, bell ringer <laughs> from many, many years ago. Okay, very, very cool. Okay, I'll do the same thing I did with the... Strike squad, I'll put the uh, the dreadnought, the grey nice dreadnought in the middle and make them look very, very nice indeed. That is just a great looking squad. Oh, need a bit more space, he's a wide boy. Very cool indeed. I think grey knights might be one of my, might be one of my, or my top three favourite uh, factions. Definitely for um fractions, so factions, factions. Definitely for the, uh, the Imperium, um, overall 40k, not sure. But the Grey Knights for the releases are great because you've got some great figures. You've got the Terminators. You've got, uh, obviously, you've got the, the Dread Knight, the Nemesis Dread Knight, which I reviewed the other day. Stick a link in the top right and see that. And you've got, it's got some great looking stuff there. Awesome, awesome releases again. Very cool. Keep this up, please. Joy Toy. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Drop a comment. Drop a like, please subscribe, check out the Patreon, I'll see you next video soon. Stay happy and keep, keep collecting. Bye-bye.